Hello and welcome to JKK Mobile. This time I will show you how to upgrade a new hard drive or SSD drive to EPC 901 because it actually has a place for for uh, extra hard drive. So so let's take a look. Firstly, you have to flip the device. Other way take the battery out. This is important, don't keep the battery on when you are doing stuff inside it. Then open this hatch on the bottom, two screws, it's easy. And then just jank it open. Just a plastic thing, throw that away. As you can see, there is the Wi-Fi module, there is the RAM module, and then the SSD module. This is either 8 gigabytes on XP versions or 16 gigabytes on a Linux version. But you can also see that there is uh, this area over here and it's shaped just like a 1.8 inch hard drive. As you can see it fits there fine but not if the SD, SSD uh, card is over there. This SSD card is quite slow only 8 or thir uh, 16 gigabytes, so you may want to upgrade it faster. SSD drive, 1.8 inch ZIF drive, or with a normal hard drive if you really need a big, sp uh, more space. Like this is 30 gigabytes, but you can buy like 40, 60, and 80 gigabyte drives. These are quite uh, good for for storage and also for operating system use. So, so. Uh, even they're not as efficient or fast as, as the uh, SSD drives. They're pretty uh, inexpensive, so you can get this for like uh, 40 bucks or something. Another way would be to use a, a CF card adapter. You can also get these adapters for 5 or 10 bucks and then install those. But I will install the hard drive to show you how it goes. So first we have to throw away the internal card. There's two screws over there. Just open them. Don't drop the screws inside the device. And you can see it actually pops open and then just take it away. And then we can see a zip connector over here. Actually there was a little bit more plastic over there and uh, I uh, was able to put the cable in but as I'm taking it on and off all the time. I actually made a little bit more room there, so I used used these uh, cutters to just cut a little bit more room. It's it's easy to do. So let's put the hard drive there. When the hard drive is this side, you can see the connectors are down there, like this. So you have to install it so that the connector side is this way. It won't work the other way. So blue this way. Okay. Let's zoom a bit so you can see hopefully better. And we just hold this up and put it there. It's a bit hard now as the cam is on my way, but I think I can do it. Okay, it's there and then secure it on the place and that's it. You can see how it is there now. Then just fold the cable there and place the hard drive. You can see there's a lot of room room over there. So you should use a soft double sided tape or, or similar to keep it steady in the place. There are also this kind of rubber holders for this drive, so this might be a good thing to have. Keep it steadily in place and avoid hits and so on. So now let's I, I'll just leave it there because I'm not gonna keep it there for long, so let's close it. Screws back on and battery back on. 
zoom out a bit. Okay. Turn it on and I'll move the camera a bit so you can see better. Okay, I'm pressing F2 to enter bias so we can see what's happening there. Hopefully you can see something. So if I now go to advanced settings and then to uh, IDA configuration, I can see that the IDA master is Toshiba and slave is the Asus Fison SSD. So when you add this zip drive or, or hard drive to that zip connector, it actually is a master. But that doesn't, uh, that's not a bad thing as you can actually go to the boot menu, menu and select the first drive. So now I have selected the SSD, the internal SSD, the 4 gigabyte SSD where my operating system is, to be the first drive and then the, the, the Toshiba hard drive as a second drive. So now we can go away here and we can boot the windows. That was it, quite easy. Okay, I will actually kill it so you don't have to wait. Okay. So, next thing, this is a normal hard drive, so that's pretty easy. You can choose to boot from the hard drive or from the internal SSD or, uh, or uh, so you, you can choose whether you install the operating system on the SSD or hard drive. I would prefer using the operating system on a fast SSD and then have the hard drive for files, but it did depends on your needs. So let's take it away and now let's let's test the CF card adapter. So basically this is just a fast fast G CF drive. I can use that now and again blue goes this way. Let's put it there. Okay, it's there now, it goes like this, and you should again secure it with a double sided tape or or anything, I will just leave it there as I'm only showing you the difference. Now with, the, with this CF adapter of course is that you can easily replace CF cards on it, uh, they are quite inexpensive again compared to uh, big SSD drives. So, uh, but with this adapter I can't actually choose choose the, the uh, if I can boot it there or not. I have to boot from that drive which is not nice if you want to use it use it for for storage. So now if I go again to the BIOS I will see both of them there. So the master is, is now the CF card and on the boot menu hard drives. First drive I have set uh, Asus Fison so it should be now all okay. But let's go away from that and let's try to boot and now it doesn't let me boot. So there might be some CF uh, adapters that uh, will let you uh, use them as a, as a uh, secondary slave or, or slave trials, but the one I have doesn't let me do that. So I would have to install the operating system on that uh, CF card if I wanted to use that. Hopefully this helped you. I would say that uh, if you if you have uh, money to spend, you want a really really fast fast uh, device with a with a more more uh, more gigabytes on it, go for uh, SSD drive 
like a real SSD drive, they, they cost some 300 right now for 32 gigabytes and up. They, some of them cost like thousand dollars, so they're really expensive, but they are fast and durable. But if you just want to cheaply have uh, more storage, go with the 1.8 inch drive. You need to have the one with chip connector and typically uh, when you buy the drive you don't get the actual chip cable so you have to buy that too. Uh, I bought this adapter and the cables from eBay for like 10 bucks so they are not not expensive. These drives are available in many places places uh, so you should easily find find something suitable for you. Of course the bigger is better, the faster is better, but but if you just need uh, more storage, I think this is the easiest way. Okay, that's all for now. More coming soon about the uh, EPC 901, other netbooks and so on. Thanks for watching. Bye.